So I've just converted my image, the Reservoir Ducks text bullets final, as a smart object. And now I want to show you what smart filters are. Smart filters are essentially filters being applied to a smart object and how that behaves and works. That's different than before. So if you've seen the, in, the uh, videos on adding filters to your images, then you're going to see how this works a little bit differently. Let's dive in. So I'm currently working in the same file and I've just converted it to a smart object. And I learned that if I double click on the smart object, I can get in and edit the individual layers. I also learned that a smart object is non-destructive when you come to editing. So one of the non-destructive things that you can do when you edit, in this case, is by applying a filter. Now we've applied filters before. So if I come in here and I choose, for example, that I want to twirl the image and uh, I want to distort it in one way or another. I can really exaggerate the twirl and spin it around. I'm going to click OK. And you can see now I've applied that twirl effect to the image. Uh, of course, it's really distorted this image in a way that's, that is horrible. But here's the thing. Look at my layers panel. The smart filter has been applied instantly. And the smart filter is, uh, can be turned on or off at any time. And so this is what we mean by non-destructive. The pixels that are in the original image can be reverted back to their original state. They don't have to be maintained this way. So even if I were to save this and close out of it, when I come back in, it'll still be able to turn it on or off at any time. Now I can drag and drop this into the trash if I didn't like it anymore. There it is, and I've deleted the whole thing. If the image was not a smart object, I could go in and convert it at any time to a smart object or, or to smart filters. So you have here under the filter menu, convert to smart filters. The convert to smart filters is essentially going to automatically turn your image into a smart object, and then it will apply the, the filters to it uh, in a way that's non-destructive. So smart objects, smart filters, they go hand in hand. You can't have a smart filter without having a smart object, but you can have a smart object without using smart filters. Um, but no matter what, it means that you're going to be doing non-destructive edits to your images and it'll make it so you can turn them on or off at any time. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.